guys i hope you are doing good welcome to this new video today we are going to solve a javascript interview question that has been asked in facebook's interview in january 2022 so if you see the problem statement it reads as we are given an object that represents the dom element and we have to generate a dom from this now if you see the question we are given the type of the element we are giving the properties and the children now according to me the problem statement this dom structure is little bit i think it was pasted wrong by the user who has uh, interviewed for the interview so let's try to see why it is wrong and then we'll try to fix the structure and then we we'll try to solve the problem so the structure is wrong because if you see in the first part the element's type is defined and under the props we have the children but in the second type the type and the children are next to each other so i think that this should be outside the props and it should be independent and every dom element should have three types one is type or the html type then all the properties that that html element can have and all the children's again all the recursive structure should follow this three so why i came to this conclusion is because if you see so this problem is similar to we have to create react dom dot render now in the react dom dot render we are given an entry point for the jsx so let's say app and then a element a dom element where after generating this jsx to real dom it has to be injected so this app if you see this is in jsx format now jsx is a format react has designed for the user friendliness so that when a user is writing or creating component they should get a feeling of writing the native html element but behind the hood this jsx is converted to a function that is similar to this object structure let's see how it happens so react internally uses babel as a transpiler that transpiles the J jsx code to react or javascript code so if i if you see i am creating a structure over here let me call this so this is the jsx we have written and here let me add a string hello so if you see this is the jsx but ultimately it is converted to a function now the function read as react dot create element to which the first part represents the html tag now here the second part is null because here it accepts the properties so if i add let's say id equals to abc this will be the second part so the null now is replaced with the object of properties and third is your children so children is hello now if i add a nested element let's say i add h1 over here so here you see the third part again becomes a react dot create element and then the that element is h1 and h1 holds a value what if i add a span over here let's see what happens so see there are two entries to the function now this defines that in a function the first entry represents the html tag the second entry represents the properties and thereafter all the arguments or the parameters will represents the children's so if the type of next if we convert this same thing to object structure we will get this so the first part is your type which is the html element second is your properties list and then third is your children here the children are converted to array for the simplicity so that we can solve the problem and to that if you see this nested structure here the children is of type string so assuming this let's try to solve this let's try to generate a real dom from this object and then we'll also inject this to the actual dom in the browser so let me copy this entry point from here and let me paste it over there 
now we'll also generate a dom from this and then we'll inject that to this actual entry point so let me get the entry which is our element with the id root so i get the element by id root now what i'll do is i'll pass these two things to a function so generate dom and to this i pass the dom object and the entry now this structure is similar to the react dom dot render so we got the entry point and the dom object now let's create this generate dom function that will do the generation so const generate dom this will assert the dom object and the entry now this dom object is a nested object and we have to generate elements elements children elements and grandchild elements so basically we have to recursively generate the complete dom whatever is provided to us in the dom object for that what i'll do is i'll use a helper function that will recursively generate the dom and once the dom is generated so this helper function will create element and there and at the end it will return that element that returned element so let's say const generated dom so this will this helper function we invoke this with the dom object this will generate and return us the dom and once we got that we'll inject that to our entry so entry dot append child and we pass that to this generated dom so inside the helper function let's start implementing our logic so here the first thing i'll do is i'll destructure the object and i'll extract the type props and the children from that so if you see i extracted all the three now let's create an element of the type whatever we have received and to this we'll check if prop exists so if there is a key with the props if it is not undefined what we'll do is we'll iterate all the properties so all the property in props we'll iterate them and we'll assign them to the generated element props of property of props this will assign all the properties to the element so our element is generated all the properties are attached now the final thing is we have to check if the children is of type array or it's of type string so if it is type if, if it is of type string we have to append that directly to the element and return the element no further action is required if the type of children is array of nested children so we'll recursively call the same helper function and we'll generate the doms and we'll add that to this current element as their child so let's add that check if type of children is string we have to set that as the inner text for the current element so simple children otherwise we have to iterate the children's we have to recursively generate the element for them and then add all those children's to the current element so here i'm going to use a fragment so i'll create a fragment fragment is see when you do a dom operation when you append something to the dom what happens is dom has to re-render to reflect the changes now we don't want this operation to happen every time an element is generated rather what we want is let's generate everything at once and then if once the everything is done all the actions are done at the end we'll add everything to the actual dom so that the re-rendering should happen as minimum time as possible 
so this is what react does using the virtual dom it tries to reduce the number of dom re-renders to optimize here we'll do the same thing but on a smaller scale so what i'm going to do is we'll use we'll create a fragment of document so create document fragment and to this fragment we'll add all our generated nested childs and once all the childs are added to the fragment we'll add this fragment to our current element so for all the child of children we'll say that to the fragment append the child by recursive calling the same function so this will add all the children to the fragment and after that we will add this fragment to our generated element and finally at the end we will return the element so this has generated all the children's by recursively calling the same function all the generated children's are added to the fragment and then that fragment is added to our current element and at the end we are returning the element now if i run this you will see that hello will be visible over here so it will be part of the dom now it's not getting showed let's try to debug what's happening so is there any error cannot access entry before initialization where we are accessing entry okay sorry made a mistake so we have to because we have declared it using const we have to pass it later so if i run this now we should get hello here now if i inspect this you will see that there is a div generated with the id hello so here the div with the id hello and inside that there is a h1 tag with the text hello so if you see div with the id hello and inside that h1 tag with the text hello if i change this hello to let's say abc and then let's close this run this again and after that if i inspect back so you see the id is abc with the text hello so this is how you can generate dom dynamically and then append it to the any of the entry points so i hope you have learned something new thank you for your time